Shalom, I'm Drew and I'm Jewish. Salam, I'm Umar and I'm Muslim. Umar has hosted me over the last five days in Sri Lanka and he's become a great friend. We're both 27, love to travel, and have just about everything in common except religion. I had a bar mitzvah when I was 13 and I've been to Israel three times. I pray five times a day and I went on a pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia last year. Growing up as a Jew, I had a bad impression of Muslims and I developed a fear to travel to Muslim countries. Growing up as a Muslim, people in my community did not have nice things to say about Jewish people. This is all nonsense. I can't stand how the media always portrays the extremists to represent each community as a whole. As I've traveled all over the world and made hundreds of Muslim friends, I've realized that Judaism and Islam have very similar traditions, rituals, and values. We are having a traditional meal in Nuakshad, Mauritania. We both believe in one God and have matching views of His presence and creations. Both religions have a holy book, the Torah and the Quran, where both interpretations of that text have become sacred. The Quran starts with a chapter called Fatiha. We are both family-oriented people. We wear small hats on our heads and have our biggest prayers on Friday night. <laughs> Judaism and Islam both regard Jerusalem as a holy city. Temple Mount is the sacred site of the Western Wall, the remains of our second temple, and it also contains the third holiest site in Islam, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Both Jews and Muslims have similar food restrictions, kosher and halal. Mm. In these diets, animals must be slaughtered a certain way, and eating pork is forbidden. Our founding languages, Arabic and Hebrew, share common vocabulary words, and we both read from right to left. We all see on the news that both religions have a potential for violence, but those violent people make up 0.001% of our communities. I hope that learning about the similarities between Judaism and Islam can be a stable foundation for building a bridge to connect our members. So please, let Umar and I be an example for how a Muslim and a Jew can perfectly get along in today's world despite what anyone may tell you. Drew, so maybe next time we meet it'll be in Israel. Yeah, or Saudi Arabia, I'd love to go there. Oh, I'd love that, man. But regardless, let's stay in touch forever. Of course, man.